Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have something really different today and it's not a drone. Uh, this is a KV switch uh, and you're wondering why would I be reviewing this on a drone channel? Well, we do uh, tech reviews uh, in addition to uh, drone stuff on occasional things. Honestly, always things that are of interest to me uh, and if you do any video editing at all, this is something that may be of interest to you. If you have, say, two PCs that you're wanting to switch between. So in my case, I've got a Mac Mini and a PC, and I want to be able to switch between the two. Uh, one day I may want to edit on the Mac Mini, another time I may want to edit on my PC. That way I can do it with one keyboard. Uh, I've got a 32-inch curved display, uh, 4K display. Uh, and mouse and I can have one keyboard mouse display and use two different computers on that. This will allow you to switch between the two uh, simply at the push of a button. Uh, I'm, not a re I'm not a video expert by any means but I've done enough editing and so forth now that I have understood some of the things that I need. I'm going to read off the back of the box some of the features of this guy. Uh, I've learned through the hard way that not just any KV switch will do. You have to have one that is capable to operate uh, with your computer. And in my case, I need to be at least 4K resolution and I need to be at least 60 hertz. You order a lesser KV switch and trust me, it will not do that and it simply work, won't work for you. This guy can handle all that. It will switch up to 8K. There's probably not many of us that have uh, that deal with 8K video yet, but at some point we will. This will be able to handle it. Uh, so it ha uses, uh, can use HDMI 2.1, HDCP 2.3 compliant. Uh, it, uh, it goes up to 8K 60 Hertz, uh, HDR10, Dolby Vision, VRR, uh, FVA, ALLM, etc. Not that I know what those are. Uh, however, I, I do know some of that stuff. Uh, but uh, if you're a video uh, uh, expert, you probably do know those. Uh, it supports a high refresh rate. Again, this is important uh, depending on what you're doing. So in this case, it'll go 4K up to 120 hertz, uh, 1080p up to 165 hertz. So that's going to be important for uh, action and those kind of things. Uh, it has uh, USB 3 uh, points, and again, it's saying that uh, two PCs can schedule, can uh, share. You, in other words, you can two PCs can share uh, four uh, USB ports uh, on there. Uh, so, in other words, you could add uh, a webcam, a printer, etc., and the two devices could share all of them. So that's that's pretty handy. Flexible switching, switch easily between two PCs uh, with the front button or a keyboard hotkey. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's really about the size of it. Uh, let's open the box and I can show you what it looks like. So let's take a look and see what's in the box here. Uh, pull it open and there you go. You get the, uh, the user manual, which uh, uh, for most of us is important. Uh, and... Uh, then it looks like we have a ton of different cables. So, uh, yeah, I am not going to open up every bag of uh, cables here, uh, but you have got uh, uh, power cables for, uh, like, yeah, like you see, I have a U.S. cable here and I have a European cable. So you got a number of different cables in the box, depending on what country you're in. And, uh, yeah, HDMI cables. Uh, and it looks like you got a, 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 a bracket if you want to mount it. Uh, and of course, the, uh, uh, a power supply for the unit itself. Let's take a look at the unit. Okay, so this is actually pretty simple. This is 12 volt power in from the power supply that they give you. Uh, and then HDMI out, you're gonna go from there to your monitor. And then you've got these three USB ports right here that you're going to plug into your various peripherals, your keyboard, your mouse, your webcam, etc. 
And then you have uh, from your two different PCs. So in other words, uh, my PC will go uh, uh, from, from the HDMI, the uh, video port on the back of the PC, HDMI to here, and then USB host. So that'll hook USB into that computer. And then the same on the other side here, uh, HDMI uh, to, uh, from the Mac Mini and then uh, USB uh, to there. So I will then be able to switch between the two and use the same monitor and the same peripherals for each one. Let's take a look at the front. So they've given us some, some nice things on the front here. Obviously a power light to tell when it's on. You're going to switch between HDMI input one or two right here with that switch. Uh, you can plug headphones in there if you wish. And then you have additional uh, USB uh, inputs there, 1.1 and 3.0. Okay, there's only one thing left to do. I need to get this hooked up to my system and I will show you how it works. Hey, okay, so I've got my AV Access KVM switch installed and this thing is the real deal. It was really easy to set up. Uh, I'm gonna throw some pictures up right now to show you the wiring on the back of the switch and on the back of the Mac Mini. Uh, essentially, all you do is hook the uh, HDMI cable from your monitor to the switch and your keyboard, in my case, a keyboard and mouse. There is a third USB, so I could hook up my webcam as well if I wanted to, or speakers or something else. So that is available to you. And, and then, simply from your devices, in this case, I have a PC and I have a Mac Mini, uh, there is one USB cable from the PC to the KVM switch and from the Mac to the AV access KVM switch. Uh, and then obviously you have to hook the, uh, an HDMI cable from both devices to the switch. And it's that simple. Uh, no rocket science involved. A lot of spaghetti. So you guys that are good at cable management are gonna have fun uh, organizing all those cables. However, it works quite well. Uh, let me show you here real quick. So I'm set up right now. I've got a 32-inch. A this is a 32-inch uh, Samsung monitor. It's on my Mac Mini up here right now. I simply hit the switch here on the front, and it'll take it just a second, and it'll switch over to the PC. Yeah, there's the PC. So I have uh, full operation on here. Still have my 4K 32 inch monitor and in my case I'm going to do a lot of video editing. I already do on my PC. I wanted a Mac because I wanted to have uh, access to Final Cut Pro and to do some editing on that as well. Now I can switch back and forth with no problem using the same keyboard, same mouse, same monitor. So it's, it really is a good deal. So the folks at AV Access have their own website right behind me here, and it's available there for uh, just under $150. Uh, and then I also noticed that it is available on Amazon as well. Uh, I'll have uh, links down below. The other thing that I wanted to say before I sign off is that I've tried several different KVM switches before that I've ordered off of Amazon, and you can find a KVM switch for, you know, around $30 or so that says it will switch 4K. Trust me, they don't. I've tried them. They don't work. This guy is the real deal. It works and it works well. Very easy to set up, easy to use. At least that's my personal experience. Uh, so I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. And the next one will be a drone video. Uh, but I thought you guys would be interested in this too. Uh, the AV Access KVM 8K KVM switch. See ya.